guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Abby in case you don't know and in today's video I'm going to be reusing rubbish to turn it into pieces of art I got this idea from TikTok because I had a look on TikTok for some art ideas and I found those like jars of joy where you paint on a jar and then you write things that make you happy and put them in the jar so this idea was inspired by that so if you're interested in seeing what I managed to make out of the rubbish just keep watching and don't forget to give the video a like so I've collected a few different pieces of rubbish from around my house which I'm going to be painting on so I'll just show you what I found so the first thing that I found is this wine bottle the second thing is a can of monster and the last thing that I'm going to be painting on today is this plant pot so the first thing that I need to do is rinse them all out and wash them especially this one since it's been kept outside I'm going to see if I can possibly take off the labels of the wine bottle but if it looks like it's gonna be difficult I'm gonna leave them on just because I hate that look of do you know when you peel off a sticker and you can't get rid of the whole sticker anyway so i'm going to go and clean them all up and then come back ready to do the painting so these are all nice and clean now i am leaving the wine bottle to soak in the sink just for a little bit longer to try and take off those stickers so for now while i'm waiting for that i'm going to paint these with gesso if you don't know this is gesso it's basically just a base coat that you put underneath paint and it just helps it to stay on a bit better and gives you like a smooth white surface as your starting point so let's do that really quick gesso I don't know if you can tell but you can kind of still see through so I'm going to wait for that to dry and then I'm going to add a second coat so I've got a pretty good base now to start painting I'm going to start with the monster can and my plan for it is to have a sunset kind of scene and then I don't know if I might have some trees at the bottom like silhouettes of trees and um, something like that I'm going to have a look on Pinterest for some like reference pictures just of a sunset scene so anyway let's just go for it i'm going to start with a gradient so at the bottom i'm going to start with a nice yellow basically on I'm going to really work on blending them together I'm not worried about this top bit because I think I'm either going to completely paint it white or completely paint it black whichever I think looks better at the end
looking so far I think it's looking quite cute already actually but I'm gonna leave this to dry for a little while so this is completely dry now to touch and I've decided that I'm going to have some palm leaves on it I also wanted to put some clouds on the top half so I guess I have to do those first so I'm going to do that I don't think I'll use white white I think I'll use slightly blue white color because I want it to I don't want it to be too harsh I guess out so far so these are the clouds at the top and I'm going to start painting on the palm leaves that I'm going to put on too side but I just have to remember not to <laughs> not to squish it how I want this to look and whether it's finished or whether I want to add some more detail to it and I've decided that I am going to add a bit more detail I'd like to do like some smaller leaves similar to this maybe in between and I also I'm going to bring the cloud slightly lower I think and add some stars towards the top so it's basically just adding some like finishing touches to it see I've added in some extra leaves around the edge at the bottom I've added some stars and a few more clouds and a bit of extra detail to the clouds and I actually think this is finished I really like it but I just wish I had a varnish to put on the top um unfortunately I don't so it's just gonna have to stay as it is it's more of a matte 
texture but I really like the way that this has turned out so now it's time to move on to the next one which is the wine bottle so for the wine bottle I want to go for a different kind of approach than the other two things that I'm painting I did manage to get off all the stickers from the bottle which I was really glad about so instead of painting the full background of gesso I actually am just gonna paint on the specific places where I want things to be so for this one I want to have like a butterfly towards the top of the bottle and then some flowers on the bottom and then keep that green bottle showing through so I'm literally going to paint on like the flowers and the, like some leaves and the butterfly on with gesso I hope that made sense I'm a bit scared about this because obviously I can't sketch out my design or anything because how would I do that on a glass bottle? I have no idea so it's just going to be freehand and hope that it goes well I guess <laughs> And now I'm going to add some colour on the top. So the leaves and stems and things are dry now so I can add in a bit more detail and I'm going to do the flowers as well. I think I'm going to do them just like daisies because I like the way that the white looks on there but I'm just going to obviously cover it with acrylic paint and um, add like a yellow centre to the flowers and things so. So I decided to do all the white off camera because I realised how boring it was painting white on white. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm just going to add a bit more detail into the leaves and the stems and then I'm going to go on to doing the little yellow centres of the flowers and then after that I'll be painting the butterfly at the top. on the daisies and I just think that's made them so much cuter. I am going to wait for them to dry before I add in any more details. I'm just going to literally be just keep adding layers to make the paint more opaque and maybe add a bit of shading on the flowers. 
and I still do want to do some butterflies up here I'm thinking maybe I'll do two so instead of using gesso to paint on a butterfly at the top I've decided to use a Posca pen because I know these are really good for writing on glass so I think I'll get a bit more control with this than using gesso so on the other side and then hopefully by the time I've done that this will be dry so then I'll be able to paint that one. Oh my god okay 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 so I just made a massive mess but we're gonna fix it I've got confidence I can just wipe it off with a bit of a baby wipe and just pretend that didn't happen and we'll be fine it's actually coming off really well i'm quite surprised so there's a bit of that green but i just wow okay okay i think crisis avoided <laughs> um okay carry on <laughs> be fine now once it's painted i know that it's a bit uneven at the moment but once it's been painted i think that'll be fine right so i'm gonna paint this one now which is the other one from the other side which is already dry oh it's not the best surface to paint on can you tell it's like coming away the more i paint the more it's coming off underneath hmm right new plan i'm just gonna paint gesso over the top of the posca pen i don't know i'm thinking now i've got the shape it'll be easier so i am gonna just put the gesso over the top since it's not a good surface to paint on so i'm going to paint the butterflies orange butterflies with the black and kind of do like the black details um the aim is this kind of thing but i'm not trying to do it as realistic as that i'm just gonna do it however however it is so Can you hear the rain? It sounds so nice. I think that's starting to look cute. I'm going to do that on the other wing and then on the other butterfly as well. Um, I'm just going to do that off camera because I'm very aware of how long this video is getting. So I'm going to add on some little dots to the butterfly's wings because if you look at like the original photo of a butterfly it's kind of got like extra white bits i don't know i'm just gonna add like a few of them with the posca pen hopefully things go a bit better this time around using the posca pen than last time <laughs> how they look that's one that's one and that's the other so i actually think that that means that this one's finished so it's time to move on to the last 
final one, which is the plant part. So for this plant part, I basically just want to do a little garden theme, which, okay, it's not that creative because it's a plant part, but I just love painting flowers and things. So I just think it'll be really, really cute to have like a little garden theme. So I'm going to paint like blue for the sky as the background. And then I think I'm going to have to wait for that to dry. So I think that's all I'm doing for now. Just painting it blue. really cute so anyway I'm just gonna wait for this to dry so I've been really trying to think about what I can do on this plant pot to make it slightly different than the others but I just really like painting the same kind of things I love just painting flowers I love just painting plants the thing that I am going to be doing slightly differently is the style I want to go for a really basic simple style for this one so I've looked in my sketchbook and this is a page from my sketchbook this is like a doodly kind of page but that kind of really really simple cartoony style it's kind of what I'm going to go for for this so I'm basically just gonna doodle this kind of thing all over it I really wish I had more Posca pens for this because I think that would be a lot easier but I don't so I'm just gonna paint it but I'm gonna sketch on with pencil first before I paint on all the way around in pencil little doodly flowers I've done a rainbow there's like a little vine and stuff like that and basically I think I'm just gonna go for it and just paint it all I think this one's gonna be quite easy and simple to be honest because it's just like a doodly kind of idea so let's just do it <laughs> them all now so this was the last one this one's the plant part obviously with this one i went for a really cartoony simple like childlike style so that's that one this is probably my favorite it's the wine bottle which has the butterflies at the top and then the daisies around the bottom i really like this one i think this looks so nice i don't know i just think that's so cute the last one which actually was the first one anyway it's this can this was a monster can if you can remember and it's just got these palm leaves it's got like summer holiday vibes you know like the 
evening when you're on holiday I don't know that's what that makes me think of and I just think that one is really cute as well I have no idea where I would possibly put these this one I think I would like to put somewhere I think this is cute these two I'm not really sure they don't really fit in the theme of my house they're a bit bright but this I just think is so pretty I do really like this one I'm proud of this one so thank you so much for watching let me know which of these you like the best and if you would ever try doing something like this yourself painting on rubbish thank you tiktok for giving me this idea also please let me know if there's any videos you would like to see from me in the future and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe down below because it helps out my channel so much and i'll see you in a new video soon bye